So good day, we will learn the basic financial accounting. We are in the part 1 or the part 1 of the series, an introduction in for part 2, case analysis and journalizing of business transaction, part 3, posting and trial balance, and then part 4, adjustments. The content of part 1 is the definitions, basic rules in recording business transactions, accounting equation, book of original entry, book of final entry, basic accounting concept, and basic accounting principles. For the definitions, accounting, the process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgment and decision by users of financial information. That is according to American Accounting Association or AAA. So for identifying or the step one, it is the recognition or non-recognition of business transaction because there are business transaction that is exempt from recording in the accounting books because they have no monetary impact on the financial standing of the entity. For measuring or the step two, it is the assigning of amount after the recognition, this time for measuring affected accounts of the business transactions. For communicating accounting reports to users, the delivering of the financial statements to the users. Example of users is the owner and then the creditors. Financial accounting, the branch of accounting that deals with preparing financial statements such as income statement and balance sheets. The three main branches of accounting are financial accounting, managerial accounting, and cost accounting. Transactions, business event having a monetary impact on the financial statements of a, of a business that is according to accountingtools.com. A business in a, is an organization or entity that sells goods or services for a profit. So that is according to myaccountingcourse.com. Consequently, the business transaction pertains to an event incurred by an entity which will affect its financial statements. The basic rules in recording business transactions is divided into three categories, classifying business transactions, analyzing business transactions, and then recording. For classifying, the rule is that a business transaction must be quantifiable or able to be measured. For example, ABC company accepted the contract with BC Incorporated to provide the latter transport services. ABC company will provide transport services to business or incorporated. The event cannot be expressed in amount or be quantified. There is no amount available in the event. So although that is a business transaction, it cannot be recorded because it has no monetary impact. It cannot be measured. Therefore, there is no impact on financial statements of the entity. A business transaction must be expressed in monetary terms. For example, ABC company bought 200 units of bond paper. Although that there is an amount which is 200, it cannot be expressed in monetary terms. 200 pertains to the units and not a purchase price. So therefore, only the purchase price can be recorded in the accounting book. Analyzing business transactions. The event to be recorded is in respect with the time and has direct effect on the financial statements of the entity. For example, ABC company hired five employees. Each of them have a salary of 50,000 pesos and then the salary is paid every 15th of the month. On the date of hiring, there will be no business transaction. The reason is that there is no monetary impact. If the company hired an employee, there will be no direct effect on its revenue, profit, or total assets. However, on the date of salary payment, expenses will increase because of salary expense. The compensation paid to employees. The event to be recorded is in respect with the point of view of the entity. For example, ABC company is the supplier of XYZ company. The latter company sold 500 units of goods purchased from ABC company, 90,000 in total. The goods is not yet paid by XYZ company. This has no effect on the accounting book of ABC company. Take note that XYZ company is a customer of the entity. Therefore, any unpaid purchases of XYZ company is a receivable of the entity. It is not a concern of the entity whether the unpaid 
purchases is sold already by a customer. It has no effect on total expense of the entity if the purchased goods remain unpaid even, even though it is already sold by the customer. So, the point here is that transaction must be on the point of view of the entity. In here, that we are concerned of ABC company transactions. So, the customer XYZ company and the XYZ company is not a concern of the ABC entity because the point of view must be only on ABC company. So, in here, you will only record the transaction when XYZ company purchased the 500 units from ABC company. When XYZ company sold the 500 units even though it's still unpaid, it is not the concern of ABC company anymore. So, recording of business trans transactions, double entry system. The double entry system only said that for every debit, there will be a credit. So, that must be balanced. Debit is equals to credit. Next, types and effects of transactions. Source of assets, exchange of assets, use of assets, and then exchange of claims. Source of assets, what does it say? Liability account and then equity account is the claims. Asset increases and then a claim also increases. For example, an investment of the owner and then rendering service on account or cash, purchase of tools on commodities on account. An investment of the owner, an asset account increases and then the equity account also increases. Same with rendering services on account. Asset account increases and then equity account increases. Purchase of tools or commodities on account, asset account increases and then liability account increases. Exchange of assets. An asset account increases and another asset account decreases. For example, collection of sales on account. The collection of cash from the customers increases and then the account receivable decreases. Both of that account is an asset account. The cash and then account receivable. Purchase of supplies. Cash decreases, supplies increases. And purchase of property or equipment. Cash decreases, property or equipment account increases. Both are asset account. Use of assets. An asset account decreases and a liability or equity account or claim decreases. Payment of purchase on account. Cash decreases and then accounts payable decreases. Same with payment of salaries. In payment of salaries, it depends if it, that is salaries expense or accrued salaries. In accrued salaries, liability account decreases and then cash decreases. While for salaries expense, equity account decreases and then asset account decreases the cash and then a salaries expense. A salaries expense is a negative effect on the equity. By means of negative effect, it decreases the equity. And then exchange of claims. A liability account increases and an equity account decreases or other way around. A liability account decreases, equity account increases. For example, receipt of electric bill. Utility payable increases and then utility expense increases. Expense is a negative effect on equity.